Okay, so it's your first year trading. I'm going to go over an important list of things you must do if you want to see success with trading. So the first and foremost is self-development. One of the biggest things that I learned the hard way is results rarely exceed self-development. So the biggest thing with trading is you have to become a completely different person in terms of the way you manage your emotions, the way that you think and process information on the charts because you're making quick decisions, you're dealing with different fears, there's greed, there's fear of missing out, fear of losing, all of these different things and you have to become a completely different person. You have to design a new character, a new version of yourself. It's not, I wanna be a successful entrepreneur or I wanna be a millionaire or I wanna be a successful trader. It's who do I need to become so that I can be a successful trader? Who do I need to become so that I can be a full-time trader? What character traits do they have? What habits, what strengths and weaknesses Whatever it is, you have to define these things and then you have to work on becoming those things. Whether it's somebody who's more disciplined, whether it's somebody who has patience, whatever it is, you have to identify these things and work on becoming those things. And when you do that, that is when you are going to see your external results start to level up as well. It's always going to be a direct reflection of yourself. Everything that you have in your life, where you are, how much money you have, what you do for a work is exactly by your design. And it's probably a direct reflection of where you're at internally. So the next important thing that you have to do if you want to be a successful trader is treat and set up trading like a business. So what happens is when people come into trading, they think it's just about a strategy. So they have this nonchalant approach of, I'm gonna jump on the charts, I'm gonna learn a strategy, I'm gonna download some apps, and I'm gonna mark up some charts and then take some trades and see if I can make some money. And that is treating it like a hobby. And if you treat it like a hobby, you're gonna get hobby-like results. You have to treat things like a business. And what I mean by that is the infrastructure, we have it broken into four pillars. So we're talking about systems and processes, we're talking about the strategy, we're talking about a complete mindset revamp, and then we're talking about monetizing and scaling. So there's a lot of processes, there's a lot of systems that go into it. You're talking about learning a strategy and then pulling your strengths and weaknesses. So we're talking about applying a SWOT analysis extracting strengths, extracting weaknesses, converting weaknesses to strengths, whatever it might be. And then we're talking about backtesting your charts, backtesting the different entries, patterns. What are you good at? What can you see? What are you trading effectively? What's producing results and what's hurting you? And then we're talking about your emotions. So a market file feedback here is absolutely crucial. How you approach the charts, the way you think about price action, because it's one thing about finding a setup, marking it up, and pulling the trigger. It's what you do after the charts, or excuse me, after the execution that will yield results. How you manage this trade, and there's just a lot of different factors. Risk management, capital management, all these different factors come into treating trading like a business. But what I can say without a doubt in my mind is that if you do not do these things and set up trading and treat it like a business, you are doomed to fail. The next important thing that I would highly recommend you do is get a mentor. That is something that I put off for quite some time and I quickly realized that is exactly what I needed to do. I was in a position where my back was against the wall. I had a daughter on the way. My girlfriend was out of work now because she's super pregnant and I'm making $15 an hour as a commercial painter. So I had to make this work. And that is when I decided to reach out to somebody who had what I wanted doing what I wanted to do. So I reached out to multiple full-time traders and just started asking the questions, ultimately got involved with a mentor. And I can tell you that almost every high level entrepreneur, trader, anybody that's achieving high level success, I can almost guarantee you they have at least one mentor. I was just at a mastermind this past weekend called the Eight Figure Boardroom. There was Todd Herman, Robbie Abuvala, Cole Gordon, all guys who make eight figures a year with their businesses. There was 150 entrepreneurs in this room. Every single one of them makes at least seven figures and every single one of them has a mentor. 
The most important part about a mentor, yeah, there's lots of information. Everything that I talk about chart related, you can find that online free. If you wanna go start an Amazon business, you can find that information free on YouTube. The most important part about having a mentor is a feedback loop. You have to have an open dialogue and talk about what you're doing. Talk about the problems that you're having, any type of distractions, and then you can show them what you're doing, get feedback, take that information, make changes, apply the changes, and then keep this cycle going. And having that feedback loop with somebody who is doing what you're doing at a much higher level, that is how you're going to streamline your success and get to your desired situation in a relatively short period of time. So the next important thing on this list is starting on a demo account. A lot of traders fight the urge when they first start to jump right into a live account and this is a huge mistake. You have to work on so many different areas when it comes to trading before you can even think about getting onto a live account. You have to know your strengths. You have to know your weaknesses on and off the charts. You have to develop a trader's mindset. You have to have a plan, right? You have to know every aspect of that trade analysis stage, the entry stage, management and exit. And you have to be able to show a positive trade expectancy. Once you have a defined edge, a proven profitable trade plan that produces a consistent return, then and only then would it be wise for you to transfer over and make that transition to a live account. Now, Playing off of the demo account, the next thing that you really need to focus on, and this was a game changer for me, is data collection and back testing. So you need to catalog every single thing that you're doing. So you need to have a trade journal, you need to write down every single detail about the trades, the different environment, the pattern, if it was a long, if it was a short. And then you also need to take snapshots before and after of your actual trade setups. That way you can go back and review these things, study your strengths, your weaknesses, things you're doing well, things you're not doing well. And then what you wanna do is also record your thoughts, your emotions. So you're not going to go from a trader who is super new and losing money into a profitable trader. There is a natural progression and I call this the stages of a trader's evolution. Stage one, this is ground floor. This is, you don't know what you don't know yet. You're consuming information, you're applying, you're recording things, and you're just super green in this stage. Stage two is break even. This is where you find your results start to stagnate a little bit, but you're not profitable, you're not losing either. They're right around that break even level. And this is a positive. A lot of traders would view this as a negative. And this means you transitioned out of stage one. You're no longer a losing trader. You're now into that second category where you're starting to preserve your capital. And that is a huge accomplishment. The third stage is profitable, and this is ultimately where you want to be. So what we're gonna do is you're going to record your information, you're going to back test everything that you're doing, the way that you view the charts, the strategy, you're trying to identify your unique edge within the strategy that you're learning. And then when you do this and you take this process, this is how you're going to effectively transition through these stages from stage one, losing trader to profitable, and then ultimately into stage four where you're scaling your account. So there are five important things that you need to focus on your first year of trading. Make sure you stick around and like and subscribe so you can catch part two of this video where I dive into even more important topics that are absolutely crucial to your success as a trader.